hi hello friends welcome back to new video in today's video we will be installing hive with Derby. how to install hive with Derby? in order to install hive with Derby, we need following installations first we need apache hive followed by Derby. let's start it guys first we will be downloading apache hive either you can download it from this apache hive website or else just copy paste this command in your terminal it will download you hive in this video we will be installing 2.1.0 the hive version once download has been done just untap the file okay. you can see here guys this is my hive we should copy it to usr local copy my hive was in downloads downloads of uh, apache hive copy it to usr local as its directory and we require sudo permission you can see guys we have copied hive into usr local once copying has been done first we need to set the path of binaries and configuration and libraries of hadoop in our bash rc file just copy these lines bash rc file and edit mode as you can see again, I have already copy pasted respective lines once you have copy pasted the lines then you need to close it and source the bash rc file you need to execute this command in order to source the source bash rc file then we need to create a warehouse and a temp folder temp folder is for in the temp folder will store the intermediate generated results and whereas it will store the schema or structure of tables let's create guys as i have already started my hadoop you can see here my resources are running i have created the folder named hive whereas and created the temp folder let's let's move into hdfs Hadoop. you can see here guys folder named called temp and warehouse will be in user user inside hive will be the warehouse you can see guys we have created the file structure hive user user hive warehouse once the directory has been created now we need to configure hive file first we need to point the hadoop working directory in hive.env.sh by default it will be a hive.env.sh.template just copy this and move into apache hive config ls you can see here guys there is a folder called hive.env.sh template we will be copying high vnvsh template into high vnvsh and we will be editing the path of hadoop path and by default they will be indicating this path so so which we need to set just copy this file sorry just copy this line and insert the file we will be saving the hadoop working directory 
once Hadoop working directory is saved now we need to download the derby I think we have downloaded the derby ok it's asking for permission search and find the folder somewhere here no will download I thought I have downloaded just download the derby file yes, I'm going to download folder will keep the software in download one second move into downloads and copy paste the command we will be downloading derby once download has been done we will be untaring the file and copying that derby to usr local as we have we downloaded it and we have untapped the file and copied it to user local you can see here guys the derby file so once you have downloaded derby file and copied it to user local just copy the path of derby into bash rc file you can see again I have already copy pasted the lines in my bash rc file once copying has been done we will create a folder called data in derby in order to keep the temporary data into derby database file already exists we have created the folder called data now let's configure high site xml by default it will be high default dot xml we need to change it to high site xml you can see here guys now we will copy high site xml and into high site xml you can see here guys we have copied it high site xml by default these are the properties set for respective parameters and the connection password will be mine app derby by default we will be using derby database once configuration by these are the default configurations we need to configure the temp working directory for this particular resource sudo vi i site xml you can see here guys scratch, scratch directory we need to edit this scratch directory and copy this line for scratch directory copy for scratch directory and remove this line next we need to change for resource directory and we will be setting our resource directory path this is the resource directory path and we will be deleting this line and we will be inserting the path of resource directory and save the file we have configured it 
let's change the permission of derby and hive as it will be of root user so we need to change it for turner so change for andani andani and we one we need to change the user of derby sorry guys we have changed this for spark apache hive next we'll change it for the name of the file is db change the permission once the permission has been changed we need to initialize the derby schema for hive before starting it sorry guys the schema tool will be in binary will be initializing schema for our hive as a derby you can see guys connection is app and the password will be a mine and here you can see guys we are using derby as embedded driver we have initialized the derby as schema for hive you will be uh, getting status hive derby schema has been initialized i will be sharing this script in my video description for more updates subscribe my channel guys as you can see schema has been completed now let's start the hive once schema has been generated let's log into hive it is initializing the configurations and in our next upcoming videos we will be solving use cases on hive as there is already a video on retail data retail data analysis which is used which is based on pig now we have configured hive let's see the databases by default it will be a default database thank you guys for watching don't forget to share and subscribe so that it motivates me to create more and more videos thank you for watching